Non law. This is a medical video lecture surgery. And today's topic of discussion is incisional hernia. So I'm going to talk briefly about this, and this is a very important topic for USMLE Step 2 CK. Okay, so guys, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's start a discussion on incisional hernia. Okay, what's that? What's an incisional hernia? It's a type of hernia caused by incompletely healed surgical wound. Incision. Who will do the incision on the abdomen or body? It's a doctor, right? So it's because of incompletely healed surgical wound. For example, okay, if this is a man or a woman, it's common in women because of the cesarean. Okay, if she has undergone what you call uh, um, surgery, uh, any abdominal surgery like for appendicectomy, for incision, uh, what you call a cesarean section, okay. So any kind of surgery. So when there is a surgery, if there, the, the, if it is what you call, they're not sutured very well, or if there's any hematoma, seroma, or any kind of infection that gives a space for internal abdominal contents to protrude, so then that results in incisional hernia. So let me draw over here. If this is the abdominal rod, okay, and this is the incision. If here are the sutures. And if it finds space over here, and this is the intestine, okay? This is the intestine, right? So just think like that. Okay, this is the intestine or any abdominal content. Then it will start protrude over here. Then it will protrude like this. This is if this is an abdominal, what you call abdominal wall. Okay? Right? So this is what the incisional hernia is. So you got it, right? So it's because of the weakness of the surgical wound. That's why it's known as an incisional hernia. So what are the causes for that? It can be hematoma, seroma, infection, okay, improper suturing, okay. So not only these, sometimes these may not be the causes, but there are other causes, like if soon after the surgery, if the patient is of COPD, okay, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, because of the chronic cuff, that will increase the intra-abdominal pressure, and that pressure will give some space through surgical wound uh, for these intestines to protrude and results in incisional hernia. Okay, or anything that increases the intra-abdominal pressure can lead to uh, this incisional hernia through the sutures. Why? Uh, because of in increased intra-abdominal pressures that will give some space for these intestines to protrude. Not only COPD, we have if the patient is on constipation. That's why in, you have to, if, if the patient comes to you with the incisional hernia, you need to ask these questions in the past medical history, whether he has any history of COPD, any history of constipation, okay, any history of if he's old male, then ask for BPH, never ask for BPH in the females, okay, that's really very important, okay. And a pregnancy, because pregnancy is really very important. There's a protruding body inside the woman's womb, right? Uh, ascites. So these are the important causes, okay? So try to remember. Now let's talk about what will the sign and symptoms. The sign and symptoms of this, it, it will be nearly what you call, it will be a swelling. She will be feeling a swelling, okay? Sometimes pain. If there is, what do you call, the, 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 the dangerous, the dangerous, what do you call, dangerous sign is that if it protrudes, intestine is protruded like this, and, uh, sorry, let me draw like this, okay, and this abdominal wall, if it, it, it blocks the, what do you call, it compresses uh, the intestine and results in the ischemia and necrosis, then it's a really very life-threatening conditions, okay, and that will present, patient will present with a severe abdominal pain, temperature, septicemia, shock, okay, so these are the important features you should know incisional hernia sometimes called as a midline hernia because it occurs in the midline of the body that's why it's known as a incisional hernia or a midline hernia okay right how would you treat that how do you treat that 
how to treat is a tooth surgery. Surgery is the only ultimate treatment for that, and you have to treat the COPD also or any condition that increases the intra-abdominal pressure. So you have to treat that also. But the most important treatment is the surgery over here. Either open repair surgery, open repair surgery, or laparoscopic incisional hernia repair. Okay, right. So there are two surgeries. I'm not going to go in detail how it is done because it's not important for USM step to CK examination, guys. So I think hope you got an idea what's the, how to diagnose the incisional hernia and what are the points you should look for in a past history. And this is a really very important topic for USM step to CK examination. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.